with the orb as well. Love our Gratis Faction and Azza. Like, what have, they, what have they brought to the team so far? Like, you know, what do you feel they can bring to the team? Now, just to check their stats overall on the uh, thingo. So, Azza, bottom frag. Grat was actually a top fragger for Encore. Um, obviously, this team's newly put together and stuff like that as well, basically, with Azza and Grat. And we're going to get onto the pistols, actually, just as we uh, talk about that. And we're going to have the pistol underway as we get into the match. So then, get your guesses. I, I think I think it's 2-0. And like I said, I don't see Rooster getting double digits on either map. But mm -hmm. again, I have been wrong many of times. Um, and Ooh, like give I me a tech force. Rooster... Give me a tech force quickly. Not sure what's going on. Two flashes and a smoke on Rooster. No utility at all for Encore. So it's going to basically pummel onto the site. Yep, they're sticking true to the aim. And they're going to hope the aim does the talking. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, I think for Encore coming into this game, I think the points of emphasis for them is stay true to their game. Um, and I guess that's very cliche to say, but like I said, they don't need to overthink it. I think some teams, when they are coming up against, uh, you know, teams who they feel they are much better than, I think some teams can get a little bit loosey-goosey and get a little bit too overconfident. And, you know, they stray away from their normal fundamentals. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, if Encore just do what they normally do in prac mm -hmm. and in server, in, you know, officials, mm -hmm. they will be absolutely fine. And we are underway. Rooster starting off on the CT side. And uh, as we mentioned before, the CT side is going to need a lot of work from the DGG game earlier on today. Well, got if it's going to hold now. up. Brilliant. Trying to go for the one tap, doesn't get it. Actually, got bundling into B at the moment. One for one, Encore. Do we get an opening as well? As up, as up. All traded out, but in the. Oh, jeez. Now, Viridian coming in for it by a CT. He's been heard 100%. Viridian, can he get a bit more? They're trying to take out the Grat, the planner. Grat <coughs> engaging. Viridian has to reload, but this is not looking too good. And Grat will get the final kill with Sterling as well. First round the board for Encore as they win T's plus side pistols. I gotta say, Rooster really needs to set up that crossfire. I need to play aggressively on that crossfire as well because they just let Encore in. Yeah. Yeah, and again, it's Rooster with some more pistol round woes. Like, DGG won two pistol rounds in the same map on Inferno earlier on without dropping a single player. And that time round, Encore only lose one player. So. Yeah, yeah. Rooster uh, not having the best of times with pistols today, and obviously pistols set you up for that early success in the short term of each half. So, Uncle will get the upper hand early on in this best of three. Hazard. As Hazard with the map ten, he's gonna farm away, and he's gonna get that bonus money. Glil and Azza will find another Viridian with the MP9. They can build some bank roll of his own, but he needs to connect the bullets. They do hit as a head. Eventually, Sterling's going to trade back onto that ASAP, coming back into the roster for this one. But uh, this is going to be tough to retake for Rooster. And uh, I would say this is a one in a hundred opportunity to win the round. Yep, they do tag up Grat, but... The Master's even picked up by Hazard as well as just Viridian with the MP9. I don't think Viridian's particularly interested. Give me a second round on the board unless Viridian can get a kill. Galil's being picked up as well, actually just recovering all the AKs. I keep Viridian off the site so he doesn't, you know, fancy a chance of grabbing an AK. Charge does take down Savage, but traded out by Grat. Grat might die. No, he doesn't. He barely lives. And the all the AKs will be picked up. Give me a second round on the board for Encore. But Rooster do a bit of damage, but. I don't think there's going to be anywhere in near enough, given the fact that they could be, they may be eco wink here. They've been randomly forced buying, so that's why, you know, just not saying anything. It's going to be for the eco now, though, for Rooster. Yeah, I, I, I was just I was just waiting, so I'm like, oh, they could, they could force buy here, they could force buy. As we get a, uh, a low view of uh, stealing. That's the thing thrown, they're going through a ramp as I'm looking towards middle with a feeling. Oh, I see Stane's his hand, he turns around, the USP, they all line up, and as they get to 2k, a lot of wall bangs and collaterals being done here. Now Grat is checking the close angles from PKP with the Zeusy, gets a second as well, takes down Azza, and picks up an AK and just runs away. Big Zeus frag there for our TJP. A Zeusy and a USP. Yep. And, uh, well, he gets himself an AK. 
Savage and Azza left the bit uh, red face there. Now he's spotted one at heaven. Bing, sterling, and... Well, they're not going to recover the AK anyway. And Grant Sterling will make sure that AK does no thing at all. Nothing at all. That's going to be a third round for Encore. Yeah, a strong start for Encore, an expected start for Encore after winning that pistol round, of course. Now, it's the first buy versus buy round. Five AKs out for Encore. Five rifles out for Rooster with the AWP on Chelios. And he's going to need to perform like he was earlier on against the GG before it started to go haywire. Indeed. Flashbacks being thrown in. Encore giving real little to no respect to any of the uh, nades from Rooster. ASAP. He's got to be watching that booze. ASAP does take down Grass Faction, the B-Site Bandit. So I can be thrown in. TJP. Hazard will win. Yep, TJP. Oh, just pushes a bit forward. And Hazard. He was making a 4v4. That's not being thrown to sandbags and getting that ramp control on core. Chelios. Will he peek? Will he find Hazard? Not the moment. As they're just backing off. Savage going to pick up the bomb. I was going to say, that's a risky spot to put the bomb, given the fact that B-side player, if he did push in, would have seen it. Could yeah, hold it as well. Got, they've got Hazza set up in B. I don't think ASAP's going to assume he's that close. ASAP's actually going to whip his shots. He stops firing. He thought he had enough bullets in him to find the kill. But for Hazza... He sees another day or another minute. Yeah, I'll say, as a, as a living kid, could this be a bit of punishment? Ace takes a bit of damage. They should know where Azza is roughly. From the Molotov towards the catwalk. As is a generated as a grab from one. Takes down Viridia, but quickly thrown out by Chilios. Sterling grab from one more. Can he grab a second and cheese? Savage and Sterling hold the site. We have fourth round on the board for Encore. Yeah, strong take. Strong take for B site. Of course, like I said, Azza managing to creep his way close to the site, caught ASAP completely off guard. And that just opened up the B site and Encore plant and Encore finish. 4 0 start for Encore, another eco or half by coming in for the Rooster side, but they're going to need to find a round some point soon. Otherwise, it's going to be more of the same woes for Rooster on that CT side Vertigo, just like we saw against EGG earlier on. I think it's going to continue because I think Grat. You know, ASAP misses a few deagle bullets and ASAP just got sprayed down through the danger side. TJP, ooh, he doesn't see Sterling. Also could be thrown on towards site, and that means TJP might have to go, but he does one dig Sterling as they're looking for the trade. But I'll get the trade spray down, takes down Chelios as well. Takes down Viridian, and this has just been brutal danger with the trade. Gets a second, and I think they're going to rush towards the B bomb site. Danger's going to hear that's probably going to grab the AK, but I don't think he'll get there in time, or will he? Dane's actually going to check middle as well because he's not sure where the second player is. He's only heard one set of footsteps. Once I've been thrown towards drop and grat, we get the default plant. Interesting what Dane is going to do here. He has no kit, so he needs to get a move on if he wants to go for it. Yep. Can you find anyone who's been seen by grat? Grat. Double flashbang's been thrown in. Savage on the cross. Gonna throw flashes for each other to just delay danger. Danger's at default, and I've heard it. If you're gonna be thrown towards the site. Danger's been tagged up. Danger grabs another. He's gonna go for the ninja defuse. There's actually a fake one there. Savage catches him on the first box and be fifth round the board for Encore. Rooster very close. close there. Yeah, it did come close, but uh, unfortunately, it was uh, never gonna be winnable without the kit for danger. Just looking to do some damage, but right now, Encore are loving life. Four players drop, but they still have plenty in the bank to buy up once more. Rooster, mm -hmm. uh, they have a very good buy coming in uh, after that successful round, but uh, they're still looking for that first round win. They're going to need to find one soon, otherwise Encore are going to be uh, full of confidence. They can have a great yeah. flash. Can he get two? He does get two. Takes them both for satisfaction and Azar. The new recruits, great flash by Danger. I guess they great work on taking out the player that was trading as well. Very difficult to do. Just guessing there was that B main. It's a much better start for Rooster, I've got to say. They haven't, the really, they haven't really looked like winning any rounds apart from this one so far, but. 
Oh, they aren't up. over the line just yet. Yep, has up. Oh no, TJP had a nade out. That's the smoke out secret. And has punishes him for it. Now it's a 4v3. Now Savage looking towards the middle. Can he take out the middle player? Oh, ASAP just unfortunate. Just as he was transitioned to drop, he's caught out. Flashbang being thrown in. They're going to go straight to the B. Bomb site Savage. Going to flash it in. It's going to be just danger on the B. Bomb site. Danger. On the off angle, playing passive, waiting for his teammate to regroup. He smokes and flashes being thrown in. Danger. He's heard has that catwalk. He takes down has he does. Looking for Sterling. Now, we get the wrong direction. Danger. Get the second. Can he get the third? He's got the USP out. But it's going to be tagged up and Viridian saves the day coming in from Drop and Rooster to get number one on the board. I am rel rel very relieved for Rooster. Because that was going to be so much emotional damage if they managed to squander that 5v3. Mm -hmm. They had all the map control. But it came very close. They gave two 1v1 fights and suddenly it was looking like it was swinging back towards Uncle. But Rooster do get around on the board. They're going to need to get another to, uh, to prevent any uh, economic damage going forward. But uh, even if they win a 1v1 here, they're in trouble. KJP. Trying to go for the free fire through the smoke. Any damage is good damage at this stage. Moth off in front of the base of A main. Chelios looking towards the tops. A few grenades being thrown out. Encore. Oh, they've been re smoked at A main. Savage. Still checking middle. Trying to flash down as well. Just checking the middle area. He's getting middle control slowly. Grat. Checking B. Making sure um, ASAP hasn't posted himself up. Checking the catwalk. I think he saw ASAP there at the catwalk. So you did see ASAP through the grates. Just say ASAP didn't fire Reva, so it's really hard spot to see, like in between the lines there. Can be quite difficult. Given that Kratz can repeat that has, that like, catches Kelly off. Trying to push a bit forward. Oh, PJP, can you hold a bit more? Not one for one trade. Right, we'll get the bomb planted at default. Not really much they can do. Don't have a Molotov on them. Just danger and ASAP left. Four letters, Josh. It's S A V E. Yeah, I was going to say at this point for Rooster, like, uh, in a couple of rounds, they're going to just have to go for it. Well, yeah, it's how many rounds can you give to Encore? Yeah. How much of a lead do you want to give to Encore? Um, because saving every round is obviously not going to do your score count any good. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it, it, it will come to a point where they just need to start, you know, pressing the issue and going for it. Because like I said, if you give teams like Encore an inch, they will take you a mile. And, you know, when you fill a team like this with confidence, they do not stop. And it is very hard to stop them. Yeah, now they're on six. one going as expected at the moment but rooster still got a round on the board and see if they can build up on it they still have the two AKs. that could be another buy round coming in now encore they did win 10 rounds against not greyhound earlier on the t side t side definitely their strong suit that's my big thrown in towards middle Trying to get that middle control as well. I've seen Encore, like, they're really pressuring that middle control. And Rusa now really, I was going to say, really paid attention to it as it has a cleaned out middle altogether. I was going to say, they've been paying attention to middle now this time. As uh, basically Encore have been operating via middle as well with Savage lurking in middle. Now it has, he's going to get another one at Secret. I got to say, no one from Rusa has had a good day at all trying to guard Secret from Hazard. Now as they're trying to go for the pinch onto A site. I think they're going to realize that no one's on A side, given that Chilios actually backstabs as a, as, as a lurks in. I think they're going to confirm that no one's on A via that kill from Chilios. Because they know ASAP plays B. Just had to find out where Chilios was. And Chilios, even though he did get the kill there, he inadvertently gave away the entire thing that, hey, both of them are on B. Because ASAP's not one of them. Yeah, I feel like this is the last round that 
Rooster can really afford to do the save, and it doesn't look like they're even going to be allowed to save because Hazard is here for the backstab. Ace has to turn around, but he does have the rest of these encore players starting to come his way now. He has revealed his position, and any T players dropping here really isn't that big of a deal because the plants come in. The round win bonus money is going to come in as well. Savage, though, he's going to wait. He's going to hope that ASAP pushes his way, but I don't think he's going to get his wishes answered. 7-1. Very Seven unique scoreline. It's, it's a very good scoreline if you're an Encore fan, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I guess they Encore doing exactly what they expected on their map pick, you know? We expected uh, a very quick map, and we're getting a very quick map. I was gonna say, you know, it's really, really good to see, like, you know, Encore's way of playing B side on Vertigo, like all these new nades. I mean, that flash of crap there to flash into B stairs. I gotta like when you find these new nade setups, like Molly, Smokes, and stuff like that, and flashes. It really, like, revolutionizes the map a lot more. You know, when players just try different things, it's good that, you know, the nades, like, you know, clip onto certain things or, like, deflect over certain yeah. things as well. You know, opening up that skybox and dust too has done a lot of things as well. ASAP does burn, but Savage didn't hear it. It's too far away. TJP is just waiting for players to pop up ramp. And I'm not surprised that they've hit the brakes on this ramp progression because it hasn't worked out for them. Right, black so Helios. Should get one. He does take a bit of damage. Finally, they've taken out Hazard at uh, Secret. I traded yeah. out by... Azza. Azza and Azza, jeez. The name. Now danger. He's in a bit of trouble danger. And he is taken out by the wallback by Grat. Encore. Sterling gets a second as well. I was going to say, like, you know, Grat just basically spammed the steel wall looking for the trade. ASAP with the rotate straight towards the B bomb, but Viridian stops the bomb from being planted. Can he get a bit more? Going down towards Secrets, trying to put a lot of pressure off to Sterling and Savage. Viridian, can he get a bit more? Savage. Peek up with the secret, Viridian, don't look away! He does take down Savage as well, leaving just Sterling. AK picked up, he knows Ten Sterling's seconds. around here. 10 seconds, Sterling tries to go to the B bomb site, hoping nobody's there, but fortunately ASAP already rotated over. Puts the second round up for Rooster. And they're gonna need, a, uh, well, five more in my opinion. Otherwise, uh, it's gonna be an uphill battle if it isn't already. Rooster though, are showing some life. They are going to get what should be a full play in. No, ASAP can't afford any more nades and neither can Viridian. So, not completely full, but uh, it's a decent buy nevertheless. Close Encore, enough. Yeah, Encore with one Galil. So, Rooster do have the slight firepower advantage. Should have not spotted Danger, but Danger finds himself in a lot of trouble. He's in a one for one trade. ASAP's going to try and back up, but he cannot be stopped. Or Azza could not be stopped by the flashbang. As yeah. uh, he will clear out ASAP. And now the rotation's having to come in. Viridian's here quick, thick and fast. As his spray is going to connect. But it's going to be blocked by the white wall. They're just trying to make sure that they just can't go to B. Viridian's desperately trying to just shove him off and rebuff him. And get him into a good spot. Now they know Viridian has rotated over, so there's only could be a possible two players on this A bomb side. They're taking secret. They see in Tetris. TJP goes down at Tetris. And that bomb's gonna get planted. Not really much uh, Chelios can do. He's been forced to the angle with elevator shafts, and that bomb's gonna be planted. And he can't wall bang it either. He can't get to hell in time or heaven in time. And again, it's one of those questions Do yeah. you call the save? Like, can you afford to give on call the eight round? eight rounds here and give them the first half win it's a tough predicament to predicament to be in uh, mm -hmm. but rooster feel confident going forward and to be honest they're gonna have to lean on this m4a1s and orp into yep. uh round number 11 so so I, yeah i, don't, I honestly don't think they can do ones. anything they have no information on a site i mean when chelios misses a shot two players jump on towards uh the default box it's yeah. just like what are you gonna do like you, you know as soon as you peek out you're dead yeah, for sure, and that's how brutal it is, especially on a map like Vertigo, where ramp is so crucial and it's so wide open. If you miss your first shot with that AWP, 
You literally have to run and you cannot re-peak. As soon as you miss that shot, all the control is gone. Mm. Um, and then you obviously you have to flash yourselves back in or Molotov yourselves back in. So, uh, so yeah. Chelios cannot afford to miss too many shots on ramp. Mm. And it goes without saying against a team like Encore as well. Mm -hmm. Actually being thrown in, Grash should take a bit of damage there. Doesn't catch it, but like a foot this really shrapnel hits him. Once again, a middle smash by Encore. I gotta say they really like this middle aggression. And I gotta say Rooster have, you know, not been able to do much with it. They've just been completely split over and over again. This time's over utility on that B bomb site. That rat trying to catch these players out and they do. Gee, that's a nasty B pincer. Yeah. Like it's just like a crab claw, man. They just went clinch and then every single player on the B bomb site, even TJP trying to rotate over, just didn't have a chance. Just bang. Trap shuts. Yep. Rooster gone. Just essentially just snuffed out. And Grat's just going ham again. Not to mention as well, like they had all the nades set up coming in from drop, and then the players from B main just put. Jeez, that's a nasty round. Not, not, I gotta say right now, like Rooster just have never seen that. So they just had no idea how to deal with it. That's just. And it's one of those. I don't think it's gonna. They're gonna need a lot more time than this 15 seconds between rounds to work mm. out exactly what just hit them. It came so fast, and it I, was I, literally I, I, I set up by a couple of smokes. I guess I don't even think a timeout would even help them at this point. I think it's just yeah. like you gotta have a lot of prac on Vertigo because yeah, it's it's one of those things where it's like it's you can't really be like, hey, how are we gonna stop that? You know, it's like about. Five or six different things happening at once. Oh, Grat taking out danger. Jesus. That's so sick. I know I know, I said that in vain, but that was just... He's just been so good on that B-bomb site. He's been so, so good. Savage takes down Chelios as well. Rooster. Can they get something in here? TJP. Looking towards Secret. I guess they've Rooster been playing really, really passive. But they... Even TJ, oh, TJP's playing with a bit of confidence, I suppose. They get the one dig, not stealing, just bumps him out. Savage, he's heard the rotates. He's heard one player rotate over. He's trying to see if he can catch a player at CT. He knows one player's rotated shafts, so they should expect one player shafts. Now, they've caught the hell player. Stealing. Hey, Savage, they get the one dig, not nah, traded by Savage. He'll be 10 rounds on the board for Encore. They really don't play with their food, do they? No, they don't. When they pick a site, they execute. And uh, they are resilient. They, they're they not phased if someone drops. Um, they're always seeming to be there for a trade. Grat's faction doesn't need any trades on B right now because he is not missing. You mm -hmm. can run, you can hide, but it doesn't matter because Grat's faction... Is gonna wall bang you like just then. I think he's hit a couple wall bang headshots through that yep. cardboard already. Um, the guy is proving unstoppable right now, and it's a quick hit oh, up great to work. the area. And uh, well, what's there to say? The kill feed's lit up in blue. It's four kills to zero for Rooster. Sterling snuck through. They knew Sterling snuck through. They heard him. Now Sterling does get a kill. Can he get a bit more though? Looking for a Viridian. I'm a pressure Viridian here, Sterling, in a 1v4 clutch attempt. He's surrounded. Does he have the bomb with him? No, he doesn't. Now, he's going to try and take out Viridian. Hey, key grenade towards Viridian. But Viridian doesn't make a mistake. He gets that no scope as well in tarps, which is massive. And also, that hold on ramp was massive as well. The crossfires were brilliant. That's a third round to Rooster. And they also, like, basically, they caught Encore as Encore was setting up. They weren't afraid or respecting or allowing Encore to set up, because Encore was setting up for the execute onto A. And they were like, no, nah, we're not going to let that happen. We see the nades being thrown out. We know what's going to happen if those nades land. Because it means that we're in a lot of world of hurt. It also means that, you know, basically a few of their players can't really fire anywhere, because they've got those nades being thrown. And a great HE grenade hits Gratisfaction. Double HE. I think they're starting to learn how to play against Encore now. For yeah, the early it's utility. A little too late. It's a little too late, Josh. I mean, you're 13 rounds in now, and they're going to be off their CT side in two rounds. And 
it's going to be back to square one when they're on T side because they don't really know what CT side's going to look like for Encore. So mm -hmm. it's a tough, sticky situation to be in. Again, they haven't executed their timeouts efficiently enough. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll say, I'll say, like to be on Rooster's side for a bit, like. With the stuff Encore is doing, I don't think anyone in Australia has done sort of these sort of strats that Encore are doing at the moment. Like, not many are playing that. Gratisfaction is going to get a bit of revenge there. But I don't think, like, many uh, Australian teams have done this sort of thing. So, Roos haven't witnessed it too much. And this is what I'm talking about. You've got to look at the other scenes as well, see what they do to really, like, bring it to your own region, put your own spice on it as well as has and just completely delete CJP. But, yes, yeah, just Roos hasn't really seen it. So basically, it would take a long time for them to adjust to it. But I gotta say, the utility onto Grat was a good idea, but it's just when Hazard takes control of rounds like this, not really much you can do. Danger should be able to take down Hazard. That's the thing as well. Like, the Angels all seem to be going on towards way. I mean, nine times out of ten. Grat's faction has been nothing short of excellent. You're seeing Hazard just creeping onto the A site, just shooting everything that walks into his crosshair. Um, and all players for Encore, excluding Savage, because to be honest, the Savage, I don't think set, there's been that many kills for him to find because all four teammates are in double digits and they're all around the 13 and 12 fragment. And well, on the flip side, I've got a single player for Rooster is in double digits. And like I said, it's just down to Encore, just winning those aim points. Dudes. Yeah, yeah I gotta he, say, the you crosshair agree with is on the head every single time. Yep, I think they've won a lot of aim duels. I don't think I, I gotta say, I wouldn't think, uh, I wouldn't think at all that roost, any rooster player is winning an aim duel at the moment. Like you know, duels between players, it will be all just one side's on call against any single player on that other team. You know that square they have. You know, you know, duels against X, Y, and Z who won. I think all that will be all negative against rooster. Now the utility is coming. In. Rooster trying to counter utility as well. Flash is being thrown about, but I think both players, both teams have all been flat jacked having a big fight for ramp. And in the end, Hazard and Sterling wins. And I don't think they can have that Rooster because they don't have the firepower to match Encore. They just don't have the firepower. So they tried to, you know, fight fire with fire, but I was say it ended up in a draw, like a neutral draw with the flashes. Both teams being flashed out, so they're back up. But when the second foray came in, it's just Rooster was just outgunned. I gotta give him credit though, you know, sometimes you gotta go for it. Maybe you can beat beat them at their own game. Sterling sees this barrel and a quick trade from Chilios, but Azart, don't know, he wasn't a quick trade from anyone actually. Azart took out his own teammate and he missed from Chilios. That's gonna be a 12th round to end the half. Yeah, a bit of friendly fire there. And we'll go back to have a quick break for well, I am Road to Rear, but Encore doing what Encore does best, isn't that right, Wix? It is indeed. Anyways, throw to a quick break, guys. These guys, you know, want to finish this match off quickly. Okay, very kind. No breaks needed. No breaks needed. Okay, you know, wake up, Wix, wake up. You know, I was about to, you know, have a quick micro nap here, but uh, seems like these players want to go on. Welcome back to the I Am Bro's Rear. I'm Josh, joined by Wix. Hope you guys are having a great day. And well, we got Encore on the CT side, 12 rounds on the T side, and just Encore just looked uh, relentless, looked unstoppable, looked invincible. Let's see what's going to happen here. Yeah, it's just going to end up the same, isn't it? Just stealing and Azar takes down Chilos and TJP. But Danger, well, just as quickly as he got some success. Maybe they get a bomb plant here ASAP. Gridian going for the default plant. I think at this stage, they need to just put the pressure on to Encore. Oh, Gridian, that's unfortunate. At least he gets the bomb plant, though. Jeez, that was just brutal. Uh, if you remember, DGG won the two pistol rounds on Inferno, 5-0. On Vertigo, Encore against Rooster. On, uh, Rooster lose both pistol rounds to four to one. So, um, uh, or four to zero, should I say? So yeah, uh, pistol rounds have not been great for Rooster today. 
Uh, of course, this is a best of three, so we have at least Inferno still to play. But it looks like Encore wanting to get to Inferno and have their day done very quickly right now because they are speeding at like 80 miles per hour, way above the speed limit. I'm not sure what the speed limit is in AU. I can't uh, imagine. Well, the maximum speed is I think it's 110 kilometers, which is on country roads and 100 I think in the city. Uh, that's in Western Australia. It's pretty slow, okay? Like they're, they're slowly bringing it down. Like my street that I'm on has got, got reduced to 60 kilometers from 70. Not going to help Uncle anything, I don't think so. If Uncle carry on, they're close to getting a speeding ticket. I'm, I'm just going to say that. Yeah. Force by comes in from Bruce. Like I said, that bomb plant. Very critical, though. Got the Galil's, got the AKs out, got a Deagle. Can they catch the Sandbags player? Sterling on the off angle. Oh, no, Telios, he thought he was safe. But he isn't. Sterling was actually holding that angle. Grat, baiting both Sterling. Uh, Chelios and TJP's. Deja vu. They are the first two players that died last round. And, well, Grat, well... Cool. You know, that, you know, basically the cameraman is like... I don't like watching Ace site anymore. Let's just kill with Hazar. And Hazar takes down ASAP to make it 14. Yep, too easy. For Encore. And, uh... Well, I would not be surprised, Josh, if we are over on Inferno and playing within five minutes. Because if these two teams are not taking a half-time break... Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine they'll be taking a big break between Infer uh, between Vertigo and Inferno, but we will see. We'll cross that road when we get to it, but that's a nice Molotov lineup to learn. Mm -hmm. Now Viridian, he's trying to hold. Oh, it's been seen by Azar. Yeah. I gotta say, Viridian, he couldn't even see Azar, Azar at all. But ASAP and TJP, the one big, both Azar and Sterling are gone. A grass at Sandbags trying to duck and weave. He's seen these uh, deagles being quite fancy. And also, I gotta say, ASAP's actually opened up the big bombs. But from it is, the bombs drop the sandbags. And ASAP's got himself an M4, but he can still make it happen. He's got one minute and 20 seconds no to make it happen. No Kevlar means a lot of aim punch. So that's a Eagle and a Dream, and that's exactly the dream. To be fair, Grat had very low HP, and no, he just runs right into Azza. He was expecting Azza to hold a passive angle, and Azza makes it 15, and well. 12 match points for, for uh, Alcor. I gotta say, ASAP, that was actually a very good round from him. Not quite match points, but they are map points. Of course, best of three. 12. But, uh, oh, 15 free. I was gonna say 12 for him. Like, wait, what? Yeah. I was gonna say, going as expected. Oh, absolutely. Um, like I said at the start of this game. I think this is a 2 0 for Encore, and uh, uh, I don't see Rooster getting double digits. And well, Rooster haven't come close on uh, on Vertigo as of right now. And it's not a surprise after, you know, knowing how good this Encore side is, but also seeing Rooster earlier on against DGG. However, they are falling back onto their map pick. I wonder how DGG and uh, DG in order, uh, not order, sorry, not Greyhound are going at the moment, though. I'm a bit curious. I know we've got eight. Oh, you know what? I will have a quick look myself. Let's see what how it's going. An old pick up here. So Viridian is uh, trugging along up B stairs, and he will find Azza. Azza is gonna trade back low with danger. Azza's in a bit of trouble actually, because he's on a he's on a default. Grat takes down TJP, and oh, in the end, well, this is not looking too good at all. It's just Viridian left. He's been in a lot of these scenarios, Viridian, in a 1vx scenario. I know Viridian's got the bomb as well, because those B players saw him, so... Yeah. And that's your lot for map number one, folks. We are going to jump to a quick break. I say quick, because uh, it was very quick between the halves. So don't go anywhere. Make sure you stick around, and uh, we should be back underway with map number two in a very short moment's time. See you okay. soon. See you guys soon. I'm going to tell you guys now, for those out there, 37 minutes. This is the entire match. See you guys later.